just hours away from witnessing history. This morning, Cuba is getting ready for a historic visit from President Barack Obama. The president is set to arrive on Cuban soil in just a few hours. This will be the first visit by a sitting president to the island nation in 88 years. CBS 4's Elliot Rodriguez and Rudabe Shabazi are in Havana for this three-day history-making trip. The journalists here to cover the story will be working out of a press center that's been set up at the Havana Libre Hotel. This is where reporters will get a direct feed from Cuban TV of all the events on the president's agenda, and journalists will file their stories from here. It's Cuba's biggest technical and logistical challenge since the visit of Pope Francis last September. But more than anything else, this is an emotional story for the Cuban Americans who have come, especially from South Florida, for this historic trip. Yes, so many people in South Florida have a foot in both worlds, in the U.S. and in this land of contradictions, Cuba. And in fact, on our flight from Miami to Cuba, we ran into the former president of the American Bar Association, who happens to be Cuban-American. Steve Zak told us that the relationship between the U.S. and Cuba is like a dance involving two partners who have to work together. Uh, we are starting a, a long road. I don't think it's a, a quick road. I think it's a complicated dance that we're going through, uh, one step at a time. And one of the paths forward involves America's favorite pastime. This is a big deal for Major League Baseball, which would like nothing better than to tap into some of the baseball talent on this island. While baseball is symbolic of the changing relationship between the United States and Cuba, many here on the island believe that the pivotal moment of this trip will come on Tuesday when President Obama will address the Cuban people directly. He'll do it during a speech at the National Theater in Havana. 1,000 people will be in attendance, but more importantly, it will be broadcast throughout Cuba on Cuban state TV. That will be the moment where the president gets to explain his policy and his vision for the future to the Cuban people. So many people in anticipation of this visit. And Elliot and I, of course, will be here bringing you live reports when the president arrives. Back to you in the studio.